Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Pops. Today we are going to cook chili paneer. Let's get started. These are the ingredients we'll be using for today's recipe. For a full list of ingredients, please check the description box at the bottom of the video. I have in my hand about 300 grams of paneer which I have cupped into small cubes and it is marinating in buttermilk. The buttermilk is about a cup and a half and this has been sitting here for half an hour. Today I will be cooking on my new oil clay saute pan. KG has done a review on this pan and if you want to see this review we will leave a link at the bottom of the video so you can check it out. I am going to start cooking my chili paneer now. It's half a cup of oil. I am going to turn this on high and let it heat up. The oil is now hot and I am going to put one chopped up medium onion. And keep stirring. Always keep stirring the onion. If you want to cook it equally, all over. Now the onion is getting brown, so I'll just let it cook for a little while and make it a little bit more brown so I can till the time you smell the onion burning. This took about 3 minutes or so. Now I'm going to reduce the heat to medium. After reducing the heat, I'll put 3 cloves of garlic, 1 tablespoon of ginger paste, 1 tablespoon of coriander paste. Now mix it well nicely. Now this is blending to the good. Next we do is put 1 cup of tomato puree. Now this is sizzling slow, we don't want to burn it, that's why we put it on medium heat. Now I'll start putting my dry spices, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon ground cumin, one teaspoon Kashmiri chili, one teaspoon ground coriander. Now we let it cook for a half a minute or so, so it's blended nice, all the spices. At this point I'll put a quarter cup of water. Half a cup of green bell pepper. Half a cup of red bell pepper. One sliced jalapeno. 1 cup baby corn, 1 cup water chestnut. I'll cover this for about a minute or two. It's about 2 minutes now and I'm going to take the lid off. You can see the mix is sizzling nicely and this is when we'll put our buttermilk and paneer. We'll leave it on medium heat and blend it nicely so all the taste is infused in everything. It already looks so good. I have to be patient and let it cook because I feel like eating it right now. At this point what we have to do is let the water reduce. So once the water is reduced, you will see the color come out more and more. And we'll let it reduce to the thickness we want. So we'll watch and see how it goes. This looks like it is done now. And it took about 8 minutes to get to this stage. Now what has happened in these 8 minutes is most of the water from buttermilk has evaporated. All the taste is infused in paneer and chili and other vegetables. 
Now I'll turn the stove off. This is now done. The dish is now finished and I'm going to put it in the bowl. This is a chunk of paneer, capsicum, peppers, you can see all this sauce, all the masala, everything looks very good. I'm going to enjoy eating this. This is our finished chili paneer ready to eat. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so and hit the bell button so you are notified each time we post a new video. And remember to share this video with all your friends. Until next time. It's time to try the food. It's a real taste test. We'll give it to the boss first. Today we'll eat it with roti. Should look it. Now I'll take a bite myself. For someone who hasn't tried paneer before, the taste of that is cross section between tofu and cheese. This has turned out really good, nice and soft because it was in the buttermilk for half an hour and it become nice and spongy and soft. She got tired of waiting for me. I'm going to feed her now. Oh yeah. It's good. Okay, second bite for me. The way it has turned out, it's like mild spicy, but if you are a real hot spice lover, you can add more of chilies and that will do the job. For us, it is perfect. Try this at your home.